company operating in a vacuum. Yet no one speaks up. Well, she's an attorney who's set out to enforce the law. She knows the law better than anyone else and yet violates it. All right. Well, um, I don't know if you need a hard drive to investigate this one for at least the prosecutor. But anyway, nice to see you, sir. It's good to see you. And joining us, our political panel, the National Review's Jim Garrity, The Hill's A.B. Stoddard, and the National Journal's Ron Fournier. Ron, um, your thoughts on April Sands and this whole thing is like um, just a random accidental hard drive crash? Or are you suspicious? Well, of course I'm suspicious. Now, we don't know. It's possible that it, it, everything's innocent here. But we do know that, as the, as the congressman said, we have a pattern here. We do know that the administration has not been transparent about uh, the IRS investigation. It hasn't been transparent as an administration, period. And we do know that this administration, this is just a fact, not a partisan statement, that the administration has been hyper-political when it comes to policy, both domestic policy and foreign policy. So there's reason, there's very good reason to be suspicious of this. Uh, A.B., let me read tweet number five. Um, and whether, you know, this, this is like a lawyer at the FPC is supposed to be enforcing fairness in elections. Dear every single Republican ever, <laughs> when will you learn that Barack Hussein Obama is simply smarter than you? Stand down. Signed, Obama 2012. And this is, of course, retweeted by other people. That's done 1220 May 1st. I suppose she could have walked outside at lunch and done it on her cell phone and not be violating the Hatch Act. You know, it's possible, but the thing is that usually lawyers who work at the Federal Election Commission are aware of Hatch Act violations. Yeah. They're pretty good at figuring out what, which hard drive should be re recycled and that kind of thing. Um, this is obviously, it is a, a suspicious pattern. It doesn't look good because she's just not sort of an innocent young employee with no legal background who might not know about the laws um, that, uh, that she's, she's required to follow in her workplace. Lawyer. But the, but what's interesting, too, is that it's, um, it's partisan and it's sort of really uh, juvenile um, at the same time. I mean, the, the tone of the, of the tweet. So... Um, but as for, you know, whether or not this looks terrible, it looks awful. She knew the rules better than most people who get and, hired to the federal government. And let me read you number three uh, before I go to you, Jim. Romney is toast. This is done on Tuesday, September 18th, right before the 2012 election, 9.53 a.m. Either she's at work or we're paying her not to be at work. But if she's at work, it's a hatch act probably. But it says Romney is toast, but POTUS can't do it all on his own. Don't forget congressional races. We need a Democratic sweep. Stay focused. This is like the ref coming out in the face paint of one of the teams and saying, no, trust me, I'm going to call the game. Uh, fairly effectively. Uh, once a BS excuse works, this administration is going to go back to it time and time again. Oh, the computers were lost. Oh, the hard drives are crashed. Apparently, Lois Lerner is like this one woman walking electromagnetic pulse that just erases computers everywhere she goes. Yeah. Um, and so, look, these, these are documents that they're legally required to, to keep. And yet, so far, nobody's gone to jail. No one's been fined. We've you know, barely seen anybody haul before Congress and, and you know, uh, giving 50 okay, lashes with a wet noodle. I mean, until there's a consequence, why should they stop giving this excuse? Okay. I